Ashley Margaret and I'm currently 18 years old and I am pregnant with twins. Um, <laughs> so this is going to be a little bit of a life update. So I'm currently 18, almost 19 weeks pregnant with um, mono dye twins, which are high risk twins. Um, you can go check out my high risk twins video if you're interested in that. Um, yeah, I just talk about why they're high risk and that kind of stuff. So um, a lot has happened. Um, I am actually moving. And so if you watched my uh, day in the life of being 18 and pregnant, then you will have like you would have known that then which that was like a week ago um we were planning on staying in the place that we're in i also have a loft tour that you can go see but um me and my boyfriend we were talking and it was just looking more and more unrealistic for us to stay here it just because um in the video i showed you how steep the stairs are so we're really like Normally, if you have both levels of our apartment, it's not that bad, like space-wise, but because those stairs are so dangerous, I don't go up them while pregnant because I have fallen down them before, like while I wasn't pregnant, and just a couple, like nothing drastic, but it's just not safe. So I don't go upstairs at all. So it's almost like it's a studio apartment on the bottom. And um, because of that, um, we're also not going to be bringing the babies upstairs because we don't want to risk dropping them or falling while carrying them or anything like that. So if we were to stay here, we would be in like this little studio apartment type area. And it was, we were really trying to make it work. We were planning on doing one crib and um, one bassinet. And so eventually we um, came to the conclusion that it just, it wasn't going to work. And um, we were very lucky that our landlord has been very understanding of the situation and about how, you know, <laughs> we plan our lease isn't up until December and um, she's been so great and we are so thankful for that because if not, then we would be stuck here. And so she's already listed um, this place for rent for July 1st um, and she actually has someone coming this tonight to um, come see the place already and she just listed it yesterday because it's um, a really good price point for the area that we're in and you don't see lofts very often in our city so it's um, really cool actually but um, sorry <laughs> um, I get pregnancy brain and I totally forget what I'm saying in the middle of what I'm saying but um so we have uh, at first we were kind of just looking and keeping our eye out and thinking well if we find a place that's great but eventually we kind of had to commit either to her were we leaving or were we not leaving and so we decided that we were gonna leave and um, actually the same day uh, this actually all happened yesterday is what happened um, everything happens really fast for whatever reason in my life it's like super fast like this apartment um, we were really lucky with in the first place we moved in the next day after we saw it we signed papers it was empty she gave us the keys she even gave us the first month run free because we didn't move in at the beginning of the month we moved in at like the seventh but still that's like three weeks for free which was great right um yeah so everything always happens fast for whatever reason so um Yesterday, my mom actually texted me and she said, you know, uh, she texted me a photo of a newspaper and it was in the area that we were looking for and it was a three bedroom um, duplex, except it's not really a duplex, it's a house, except it's a main floor, with, but the basement suite is like raised. So we're on the top floor. So, and then the person who lives below us is actually an 82 year old. So, uh, yeah, we're responsible for obviously all the yard work and shoveling and all that kind of stuff. Um, but uh, so we went and checked that place out yesterday. When I saw the ad, I called and he's like, you can come see it in 20 minutes. And we're like, that's great. Brett, my boyfriend, was off work. So we had it over and we saw it and it's great. It's a really good price for the area. It has everything that we wanted and it was really good. And he wanted somebody for June 1st, which is in like three days 
so that obviously wasn't going to work for us so um, we negotiated and so we take uh, the keys on the 15th of June and then we have to be out of our place by the first is because my landlord will have somebody new moving in for then so, um, yeah, we are very excited to be moving because a bigger space, but uh, we're a little concerned, you know, just m more expenses, right? It's a house, so there's, uh, here are most of our utilities were included compared to there, so it's a lot, it's a learning curve too, like we have to set up like water, electricity, and heat, and all that stuff, which we've never done before, so uh, we are going to have to learn how to, it's just adapting, right? It's, I think it's a good step for us in our life, and it's very exciting, and I'm going to be making some, I'll do an empty house tour, and maybe some moving vlogs, and some things like that to um, along the way so yeah it's very exciting it's very sudden it's very stressful because now we have to pack everything up here everything so um, yes that's very exciting uh, yeah so a lot is happening and it's going to happen very in a short amount of time so yeah um, some other news um, unfortunately I went and uh, did my diabetes testing so normally you get your diabetes testing done i'm pretty sure at 24 weeks but because i'm high risk and i'm also high risk to get diabetes because um my family has a long history of diabetes they uh, sent me at 18 weeks to get it done and unfortunately i did fail my one hour testing for the diabetes so i have to go back and get the three hour testing done so that is um you know there's nothing you can do modern medicine so if I have diabetes it's okay though just to clarify it's gestational diabetes not um, regular diabetes so yeah I am quite excited to move I'm not as excited about the gestational diabetes if I do have that but um, I am going to see my um, OBGYN at the hospital on Wednesday I go there every three weeks and so um, I was thinking after that I would do a pregnancy update and I would let you guys know everything else. Um, I've also started planning my baby shower with uh, my mother-in-law and my mom, so that's really exciting. Uh, yeah, so just a lot going on and I it's the end of the school year too so I am taking classes. So um, the fact that exams are happening right at the time I'm moving is really really stressful I have a lot to do so I'm really trying to I want to stay um, like consistent with YouTube and uh, putting out videos so I have at least once a week but I'm gonna try for more than that and um, yeah but I'm I'm hoping because it to be honest with you I'm a little bit embarrassed that not embarrassed but like if my boyfriend's home he knows that I've started a YouTube channel and everything but if he's home then I'm not gonna film a video because it's again it's one room too right so it's like he's watching right and I just feel too awkward about that so um, I'm hopefully gonna get more comfortable and I'm really excited to do these videos and I have a lot of ideas so um, yeah I just because this next month is going to be really busy. I hope that I can stay very consistent. So, yes. Very exciting things. Um, I hope if you enjoyed watching this video that you will consider subscribing and uh, following my journey with 18 and pregnant with twins. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.